So guys, today we're back out here in the Hunter Classic on Pickabean Bay, and I decided to do a little bit of more a classic rifles hunt. So I've got the 4570 Buffalo, as you guys know, one of my absolute favorites in this game. Uh, and I grabbed the 30 out 6 Bolt, which I probably have uh, the least amount of kills of the classic rifles. So that's pretty much just going to be for Rusa Deer. I don't think I'll be shooting anything else with it, but the 4570 Buffalo will be for everything else. And as I said, I love this gun. I love the sound of it. Uh, it performs quite well, so it should be a lot of fun. So it looks like we don't really have a choice here. We're going to have to take this Bantang. There's a Sambar Deer out across the water, and actually I just spotted him. Let's try to get him. Nice. Hi. Glad they don't charge. Alright. That was exactly what wanted to happen. I didn't exactly expect it to be that easy, because I didn't think he would just run towards me and then away, but... That worked out rather nicely. I think we might have pulled a Texas heart shot here as well. Let's see what we got uh, for the penetration here. I think we're too high to actually catch the heart. Yeah, we were, but we got pretty much everything else intestine all the way through to the lung. 113 score on him, and our sandbar deer is not going to be anything crazy either, but a nice little double to start the video. Yeah, this guy's nothing too special though. Probably in the 150s. They've changed the scoring on sandbar and rusa deer, uh, so they're not scoring as high. 136 for this guy. I think. Uh, sandbars are like 250-ish uh, for the max now, and roosters seem to be somewhere in the area of 200, so uh, if you get a really big one, let me know, because I, I want to know what the max is, but on the leaderboards right now, uh, they're not getting nearly as high as they were last season. That's actually a pretty nice looking water buffalo, I don't think he's huge, but not bad, 215 to 260 uh, on the estimate, I think we'll go for a shot here, because the crossing is way down there, uh, and by the time we get over there, he could be pretty much anywhere. God, this gun's so good. I love the sound of it and the fact that it actually performs so well. Ah, I just love it. But yeah, let's see what this guy scores. He looks like he should be like in the 230s area. I don't think he's quite 240. 234, not bad. So I tried to wait out the thunderstorm that was happening uh, and I waited it out. The sun didn't come out and now it's storming again. So I'm just going to take the picture like this. It still looks pretty decent. Uh, and a nice water buffalo to start us off here. And right away, we've got one that I'm pretty sure is going to top uh, the one we just had. 225 to 265 on this one. And maybe we'll just go for like a heart shot from here or a headshot if he keeps uh, looking at us. But let's see if we can get him in the heart. Very nice. And man, this gun. I've said it a couple of times already. I just love it. The sound is so good. Uh, and it really is extremely powerful. Like... Uh, it might not seem like it would be uh, because of the like classic feel to it, but clearly uh, it is. And that is a female water buffalo. I thought it was a Bantang I was going to take the shot because uh, you can pretty easily take them down. But for a female in the water, uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I might just uh, run into it after we get our male here with our trophy shot. But I'm getting about sick of the rain. Hopefully this time the thunderstorm is going to stop uh, after our trophy shot and we can actually get a decent one. But... Yeah, I think this guy's a little bit bigger. He might be close to 240. 229, he's actually smaller, but not a bad one regardless. I'm actually not going to worry about uh, a trophy shot then. I'll just move on. Uh, did that female water buffalo stay out here? I think I see her. Yeah. It's going to be pretty hard for you guys to see, though. I'm going to uh, let her for now. Uh, and then if I get closer, I'll take her. But I'm going to try to find something more interesting, because with the rain and stuff, you guys probably can't even see that anyway. And we've even got another decent one, 190 to 235 on this guy. Let's see if we can get this one to charge uh, and see if we can drop him uh, with the 4570 Buffalo, which actually, I just realized how fitting that is. Alright, buddy. Come here. Oh, well. Not that we can do now, but that's a good one we're going to have to follow. See if we get a shot at him. Nah, he went down over the hill. Alright. Uh, not really anything I can do there, because this guy was going to kill us otherwise, but that's something we're going to follow for sure. 209 on this guy, so three 200 plus water buffalo uh, as our first three water buffalo. Not bad. Well, there he is. He looks pretty decent himself, and we're getting charged from over here. This could be interesting. I don't know if we can outrun it uh, or get a shot off on him. I'm going to try to outrun it. I think it might happen. Maybe, or at least I'll run it to the point uh, where we can get another shot off. Oh, this is going to be close. I think we can actually pull it off. I think we can run uh, to the point where we can shoot our male, and that's going to be uh, quite nice because I didn't want to track him again. Yeah, she's way, she's way back there now. We're 
pretty safe to do this. There's a female over there. Yeah, that guy's looking pretty good to me. Pretty sure he's in the 250s area. Maybe higher than that. He looks really, really good, but let's see if he'll charge. Look at the body size difference. Hold on. Look at the body size difference between that guy and that little female there. He's just insanely huge all around. He does have the max weight estimate. You're not the one that's supposed to charge. What are you doing? All right, fine. See if we can get the female as well, just for being rude. Ruining my planes. That should be a pretty solid hit in, uh, hit in her. I imagine she'll be down uh, well before we finish with our trophy shot here. This guy looks quite nice. I think this is going to be a pretty good scoring buffalo. 258, not bad at all. None of these are giants, but four over 200 already, and a 258 is definitely pretty good. They're getting up in the, like, 280s, so getting pretty close to a true monster there. I did have a 273 the other day. That is my personal best, so no need to mount that guy, but I'm quite happy with the way this is going. I think this is the female that we just shot. I'm going to try to put one in her as she runs by here, or if she gets stuck. Uh, but that, how did I not know you were there? Anyway, that's that small male. I'm not too worried about him, but that was the one that I hit. It was an intestine shot, so she would have went down, but I think I spooked her again. Uh, and I just saw that male might be running to where we can hit her. Intestine stomach even, so she wouldn't have been going for much longer. Uh, okay, he's running around out there. He's so small, I'm not even worried about it. I'm going to try to find something a bit more interesting. Maybe a Rusa Buck to actually get the... 30-odd uh, six some action. We've got another decent looking buffalo here. No monster, but probably close to or in the 200s. Let's see if we can get a heart shot. I'd say we probably did. Their heart is the size of like a small roe deer, so <laughs> we should be probably getting in the heart there. I did have another male call, so I just want to run down over this. That might be him there. Nope, that's a female. But I'll probably go check that out. Uh, where I heard him at, uh, after we see what this guy scores. 196. We're getting a lot of pretty good ones today. Definitely can't complain about that. This is probably a poor decision, but we haven't gotten to use our 30-odd-6 yet. And we've got a rather small sandbar here, and I'm pretty sure that's legal anyway. So I'm going to try to get him, like, in the lung area. I don't want to go for head, because if I miss that, I know a body shot is not going to take him down. I'm actually surprised how close uh, I've been able to stock to him, to be quite honest. I didn't mean to get this close, I just happened to realize that he was right there. Okay, he's turning broadside though. Alright. Oh, I spined him. Alright. Not gonna complain about that. I thought I dropped him at first and I was gonna be extremely impressed. Cause I know like, back when these guys first came out, I had a terrible time trying to drop them uh, with guns like even the 8x57. How did I get spined there though? Uh, but regardless, I do think they were changed a bit because they seem to be a lot easier to drop now. I don't understand how that's spine, to be quite honest, but uh, it is spine 3 even. That might be a hitbox issue because you saw how close the other shot was uh, to the initial one, and that's double lung, so that could be a bit of a problem. But regardless, our first 30 odd 6. Uh, bullet action kill of the video. I want to get a Rusa deer or two or at least a couple more sandbar deer. Uh, we're pretty good on water buffalo. Three pretty nice ones so far, but if we see another one, obviously I ain't gonna pass it up. They're not bucks, but these will work for something to shoot with the 30-06 and it is raining again. I got the worst uh, map, I guess, for rain, but I really can't complain because we had a pretty good spawn of animals. So we'll try to get, I think, of this one. Maybe get them both. I doubt it with this scope, but I ran out of breath anyway. I don't actually know. It might be a thing that your breath lasts longer the higher weapon skill you are. I've never really paid attention to that. That would actually make sense. I should test that. But anyway, left lung and stomach on our Rusa deer. And I'm going to try to find one more uh, either Rusa or Sambar and hopefully a male. And that's probably going to be all the time I have for this video. It's not a deer, but that is a pretty nice Bantang, 125 to 175. Let's just see if that was a male uh, that just called. It was not, so we're going to try to take that Bantang, and hopefully uh, the bridge doesn't have crazy hitboxes. And I'm going to try to squeeze that shot uh, in there where you guys can kind of see it, so I'll let the grass move. 
and we are good. So let's go get him. I think he's probably like close to 140. 150, not bad. Even a little better than I thought. I can't believe he's 150. I guess it's just the width of his horns because they really don't go... Uh, as high as most of the 150s do. So deer have been giving me all kinds of trouble. I just can't find a buck. I mean, there's does everywhere, but I wanted to get a buck. But there's a couple of water buffalo down here. I'm going to try to get them both uh, if we can get that lucky. I don't even know where the other male went. But this guy is going to charge us. Uh-oh. I don't have... That's bad. This is going to... Oh, boy. All right. We're going to click resume. And we're going to run out of the way. Hey, alright. Now just give me a moment here. I don't know where his buddy went. He was a little... Oh, there he is. I was going to say he was a little bigger. Nice. Alright. Not exactly the deer I wanted. We only got a few shots with the 30 odd 6, but that's a pretty... Uh, interesting ending to say the least. 182 score on that guy, and this one down here is going to be another 190s or maybe 200 plus. If this is a 200, that would be our fifth, I believe. Uh, over 200 in this hunt, and that would be probably uh, a record for me. I would still wish we could have gotten a few more deer, but they just, like, they weren't around. I had a few, like, tracks that I couldn't manage to find, like, where they went. I would lose them uh, going through the water or whatever, but... Regardless, it turned into a pretty decent hunt with a lot of nice water buffalo and a 198 to end it off. So yeah, that was a good time. I always love using the 4570 buffalo, as I said uh, at the beginning, one of my favorite rifles in the game. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.